Hi, it's Sandy back again, and today I am going to do a video on painting a blue feather in watercolor. I was so lucky to uh, have found this feather. It's so beautiful. Um, I think it's from a scrub jay, and uh, it's but it's really big. So I, maybe it's from something else, but I can't think of what else would be blue like this. So I thought, well, okay, since I was gifted this feather, I would do a little video on it. I'm going to be painting on Arches 140 pound hot press, and it's in a block, as you can see. So I'm starting with some phthalo green uh, down the center. You can't really see it in this, um, in this picture here, but right along the center rib of this feather, there's some, well, my, my closest color was the, the phthalo green. And this now is phthalo blue. And Lunar Violet from Daniel Smith, a very nice color. So I'm mixing the two together and I'm, I'm going to do a, a light wash first on the feather. I've been experimenting with so many different styles of painting lately that I'm kind of just kind of evolving into a new style. And I'm sure I'm not done evolving yet, but this is where I am right now. I've been putting a light wash down on the paper first, just to kind of to map out the colors. And then I've been playing with putting more, you know, how many layers on. I um, sometimes lots of layers and sometimes not so many. And um, I think in this video, I just kind of made a decision that when I put a lot of layers on, I don't like it very much. So I started out in the second layer after I dried it here to put kind of another light layer on. And then you'll see me sort of change my mind, switch over and start putting a real heavy second layer on because that's all I want to put on is two layers. I seem to be losing a lot of uh, the freshness when I put on too many layers and probably because my layers are, uh, my color is too thick in each one of the layers, but um, I'm not liking painting like that so much. So this is kind of where I'm at. So I'll just go ahead and paint here and I'll play a little bit of music. This then is the Payne's Gray Bluish mixed with some sepia. On this other side of the feather, I, I was having some trouble with my camera. I um, am trying to video and paint at the same time, and as the light changes in the window, it sort of glared out there, and it was way overexposed, and I had to cut some of it out. It's, it's surprisingly difficult to make videos when you're painting. Uh, I don't know how some people do it, but um, I am working out the bugs and um, I had to cut a little bit out there. Sorry about that. I put a little bit more of the of the phthalo green and then the phthalo blue and you see I'm I'm putting a darker edge along this side here.
So I'm coming to the end of this video and I really enjoyed this. I, I love these colors. It's so pretty and I really like doing those little furry part of the feathers down at the base. Um, I wish I could have, I wish you could have seen it a little bit better. My light was uh, being difficult and my camera was being difficult and my inexperience was being difficult. So thank you for watching my video and like it says right there, I hope you liked it. So please do subscribe. And if you want to see more videos on any particular subject, please leave a um, note down in the, in the comments and I will do my best to uh, make a video on that subject. So um, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it.